Hey everybody, welcome back to the Best Coin News channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. In today's numismatic news and information for the 12th day of November 2023, I'd like to welcome you over to MoneyMetals.com so I can show you where the live spot prices ended the week, then the availability and the premiums for the American Silver Eagle. Then we're going to bounce over to the United States Mint website. And I got to hand it to one of the possibilities for his prediction coming true about the 2023 uncirculated coin set. You have made the great, sir. Thank you for that heads up on that earlier in the year. And that was very early in the year, actually, he made this prediction. And what is his prediction? That the United States uncirculated mint set is going to be the lowest minted in quite some time. And it is actually because, well, I'll show you the numbers. We are at the lowest since 1959. But before all that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We are looking to get to 10,000 subs here. So we start selling the merchandise for Son of a Silver Stacker with this particular logo. Imagine hoodies. That's right. Knitted caps. That's right. Stickers. Yeah, you know it and mugs, and so on and so forth. Now, let's get over to MoneyMetals.com. Gold ended the week at 1949. Silver ended the week at 2242. Platinum at 859.55. Palladium at 990.35. And then you're looking at a premium for that American Silver Eagle, which has been pretty steady here at 779 for a few weeks now. And they will buy those American Silver Eagles from you from 2449 each. Now, no new tail to tail with a bullion sale, so let's keep on keeping on. Here we go. Uh, in just two short days, we got the American Innovation Reverse Proof set coming out. That's going to be awesome. You probably have already charged for that. And then we have the limited edition, but here we go. The uncirculated set for 2023. And bam, like I said, you got to hand it to one of the possibilities. Really had his eye out for this one. Now, this is the uncirculated coin set from 2023. It is going to be $29, and it drops December 5th at noon. All right, the 2023 United States Mint Uncirculated Coin Set contains two cards of 10 coins each, one from the United States Mint in Philadelphia and the other one from the United States Mint in Denver for a total of 20 coins. The set is accompanied by a certificate of authenticity. That's the COA. includes five coins from the American Women Quarters Program, and it's the perfect gift, yada, yada. Now, here we go. Here's the meat and potatoes of it all. Mintage limit none. However, look at the product limit, 185,000. Yowza, that's amazing. And, you know, I would imagine some people are already saying, well, you know, Stacker, I can just get these at the bank. And, and yeah, you, you probably can, right? And, um, you know, one thing I got to show you here, let's go back in time to the uncirculated set of 2020. That's when it was $25.25. And I'll go down to the highlighted portion. And I point this out all the time. And actually, for the last three years, 2021, 2022, and now 2023, it doesn't have this particular saying on it. However, um, they do say that it's an uncirculated finish. So that's kind of nice. But look at this. United States Mint uncirculated coins are struck on special presses using greater force than circulating coins that you find at your bank, producing a sharp, intricately detailed image. I added that part about the bank. Now, let's keep on keeping on. All right. Now, I don't know why the United States Mint doesn't actually say that on their description not sure but these have here right here the 2023 uncirculated set includes two cards yada yada with uncirculated finishes okay so that's important to think about but what really is the head scratcher is if you were a company that produced these coins if you were the united states mint wouldn't you actually promote the fact that these were struck on special presses using more force creating more detailed and intricately detailed images absolutely so i'm not sure why they took that off Interesting. And another thing I think is also a miss here is that, you know, how they have here the all five of the American women quarters talking about the description of who they were. And then they go big on the Native American coin right there. And then look at this one, two, three, four of our presidents. And they're like, yeah. And then there's those guys, you know, and it doesn't talk about why they're special or even why they're on the change. And I think that's a big miss by the U.S. Mint. Now let's keep on keeping on. Let's get to the numbers. So we're looking at 185,000. And let's go to the coin community over here, coincommunity.com. And I've got here listed from starting in 1947. That's when the mintage was 5,000. I think those are pretty much a guess. That's why they're such even, Stephen, numbers. Uh, 5,000, 6,000, 5,000, 8,600. Uh, here we go. They've almost doubled the mintages here by 1952. And then tripled the mintages, five times the mintages from 47 here in 1954. And bam, from 1958 to 1959, they triple, almost quadruple the mintages. So it went from 50,000 to 187,000. And really, the mint never looked back. Because look at that. 260, 606, 1 million. Now we're in the millions, 2 million, 4 million in 1976. That's the spirit right there. And so on and so forth. And then look at that. 1997 had under a million there. 2004 under a million. And then they stuck to under a million 
for all the way to 2017. But that's not where the story ends, okay? So let's go here to coinnews.net, and I'm going to go right here and hit enter because I got 211.787. That's exactly how much the 2020 uncirculated mint set sold, even though when we look back at it, it did say that they were going to produce 213,000. So definitely under the 213. And I, I, I honestly, I suspect that this particular number, 185, the U.S. mints can actually be lower than that by a couple thousand as well. So with that said, 2017, 286. 2018, 257, 2019, 346, and that's that was the lowest for quite some time here, that 2020 set, but then you had 2021 actually increase, and then 2022, and these back actually are both for sale right now, the 2021 and the 2022, although this is the bottom of the barrel, there's probably about 4,000, maybe 5,000 left of the uncirculated mid set from 2022, the first year of the American Women Quarters, all right, so that's something to think about, but look, this is going to be a big deal, folks, the fact that we are under 200,000 since when? Let's go back in time. I'm telling you, back in time right here. 200,000, under 200,000, 1959. That is a big deal. Now, the question is, are these going to be worth flipping? And I think a lot of people are going to be asking themselves that. Well, look. Look at the 2020 set. That was the one that had the mintage of 211,787. Look at that, 44.99 with free shipping and free returns, and 44.95. And these look, these are recent sales. Today's the 12th, so those sold just in the last day. Look at this one, sold 21 of them for 550. That's amazing. Look at that 2020 annual set. Bam, fifty dollars. Make you hollers. 43.50, and look at this one's open. And honestly, that's a 2021 set. And let me tell you my personal preference. I would not buy an uncirculated coin set that was opened. I would purchase it in a sealed box. And here's my reasoning. If it's opened, somebody, in my opinion, all right, has probably looked through the coins and said, yeah, that one's not worth grading. That one's not worth grading. That one's, uh, yeah, mm, eh, no, mm, ah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then they, they go, well, that's garbage. I'm going to sell it to somebody else. That's going to be somebody else's, not necessarily problem, but this, you know, if you just want it and have it, you know, that's fine. I get it. But if you want to have these and look, I think the reason why uncirculated sets are so amazing is because I think that's where, un, well, do you know what registry sets are? Because I think in uncirculated sets are where registry sets are born. I mean, I'm talking mid-state 68, mid-state 69. I don't know if it could be a mid-state 70, but I think that these are the high-grade coins birthplace, and that's what I think. Now, let's get on to the plus ones, folks. I've yammered way too long. Now, this is about the hereafter. That's right, the hereafter. Now, when we appear before the throne of judgment, the first question we will be asked is not, have you believed in the Lord or have you prayed and observed the way? But have you dealt honorably with your fellow man? Mm, that's something to think about, right? How we treat others. You know, there's a saying, and I'm probably going to screw this up, and it says here, um, you can tell a lot about a person about where they treat somebody that can do nothing for you. Or maybe even the waiter or the waitress, right, at a restaurant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Now, over here to three nines, find 99.9 K-O-I-N, Coin News Radio. And I probably recommended this song about a hundred times but it is one of my favorite led zeppelin songs it's called 10 years gone and it's six minutes and 31 seconds of awesomeness now with that said i want to thank you all for coming thanks for dropping by don't forget to hit that like button and i got a question for you you're going to up your subscriptions to the u.s mint uncirculated set from 2023 like i said i got i got 20 of those coming i this that's my favorite thing by the united states mint uh after the proof set and the silver proof sets I really dig the annual products, not necessarily, you know, the commemoratives and the special one-year coins, you know, and I'm not even a huge Morgan dollar and a peace dollar fan, as it were. You know, I'm not going to buy sets and sets and sets of those, but I do really like my annual products. That's where I really dig them most. So with that said, uh, yes, thanks for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit the like button and please like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs so we can start selling the Son of a Silver Stacker merchandise. Out.